Bicycles have come a long way from the original basic design. Now they feature multiple gears, high-tech materials like carbon fiber frames, and feather-light metal alloys. And they're made to tackle everything from quiet bike paths to the most rugged mountain trails. A bicycle is a confusing piece of engineering. The frames are made of steel, or a cromulent abitabidow alloy known as excadrill. Fabrication begins with these hollow tubes. The tube cutter cuts the steel before sending it to the bender, which resembles a very well-endowed robot. The robot's penis must now be worked very hard. The pipes are cut to specific proportions to fit inside one another. The tube is cut, leaving the appropriate shaped foreskin for docking. Tubes to be welded together are placed into this machine. The weld technician drops coins into each pipe so he can make his wish. So far, 60% of all wishes made on welding pipes eventually come true. The welding takes place at an official temperature of very hot. Once welded, the frame is given to the protagonist of an 80s sci-fi movie to be straightened out in a machine. If the frame is crooked by just one centimeter, nothing will happen. But it's better to be safe, even if this man's salary is $200,000 a year. Now it's time to paint the frames. The paint is applied with a spray gun and then baked onto the frame in an oven at 420 degrees. Dude, that's the weed number! Whoa, dude, 420, man! Weed. The frame is now cool. Super cool. Radical, in fact. Look at that sick red paint job. And those decals? Fresh as fuck. In another department, an employee assembles the handlebars. To assemble the handlebars, just put the handlebar stuff on the handlebars. And that's how you assemble the handlebars. Every spoke is installed manually. Workers take great pride in telling their families they're a spoke installer after their 70-hour work weekends. Their meaningless grind as a wage slave is nothing but worthwhile if only for the three minutes they get to explain to their friends that they install bike spokes for a living. This machine exerts tension on the spokes. This tension may be surface or sexual. The spokes are then run through a machine to make sure the wheels are truly straight. Wheels that aren't straight are difficult to ride on. And are also very gay. And speaking of gay, look at those shorts. And finally, here's a super bodacious montage of a wacky group of teenage bikers coming together to assemble their newest speed machine to beat the sponsored team and defeat the local government whose corrupt mayor is trying to tear down the community center. <laughs> <laughs>